Great day, y'all. How y'all doing? I'm just dropping in, you know, because I was supposed to talk to y'all um, about this a couple of days ago, but I didn't. So here I go. I'm not going to be on here long because I got an appointment. But um, Sunday, I was afforded the opportunity to connect with some amazing, this amazing couple. And in the communication, the young lady, she looked like she was about, I don't know, younger than me, but she wasn't. Bless her heart. When I grow up, I'm going to be like that. But uh, here's the thing. So I was sitting with a young lady that um, we had been talking about. She told me that someone had blessed her with um, a chocolate diamond. And she was, you know, <laughs> concerned about keeping it, you know, troubled about keeping it or what have you. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So we had our talk about that. And I was like, what do you feel about the guy? She was like, you know, saying what she felt about him. And I'm like, you don't have a legitimate reason to not accept it. And it's a gift without stipulations. But if you don't like somebody, you just don't like somebody. So I guess, you know, I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, so the elderly couple engaged in the conversation. And she was like, you love the man who loves you. You love the one who loves you, not always the one that you love. The one that loves you going to love you right, right? And so, and she was saying that, you know, they had been married. 16 years ago, she and the gentleman that she was with, he called himself Santa. <laughs> DC, I need to get me a Santa. But listen, um, they had been married prior, 16 years prior to now, and they just remarried three months ago. They were divorced 16 years ago, had been married with children. Divorced 16 years ago, and now they're three months in their new, newlywed relationship, and they are the cutest couple. And it's a blessing to see melanated people, especially. Not that I'm, you know, color all that. I ain't in the color, cause you know, whatever. You love, you love is love. But uh, I am in a gender correction, or you know. The man and the woman and then the other stuff. But um, I say all that to say this. It was a blessing running into them. I told them I was going to be bragging about them for the rest of the duration because I'm just elated that they were divorced 16 years ago and found each other again. So that means they never stopped loving each other. And now they're doing it right. And maturity came with that. Growth came with that. You know, years ago, you know, our minds were different as humans. And so with them being able to coexist now and be best friends. See, that's the key. When you can be best friends with your mate, sometimes you ain't going to like that. You ain't going to like them all the time. They're going to get on your everlasting nerve, literally. Like the last entire, the, one, the last one, you know, that one that's next to exploding, that one. But if you could get past that and love the person of who God connected you with, and seeing, listen, hear, and listen to understand instead of just to respond. See, if you understand each other, then you can be best. Best friends understand each other, even in their difference of opinion. And so that just blessed me. And I told them I would, you know, share uh, concerning them. Because, man, y'all, if we can get relationship down to a science the way God intended it and ordained it to be so and the men's be pursuant pursuant of the women and protective of the women and loving the women as Christ loved the church now y'all know for the Lord to love us like the church. For a man to love a woman like the church, Christ loved the church the way he died for the church, and the church was at the bottom of the cross cursing him. Okay? 
You can't, who wouldn't serve a God like that? So, I say all that to say this. Love is not love until you give it away. And you love women, you love who loves you. Now, fortunately, but unfortunately, because what I want is rare and what I need is rare, and I know what I need and I know what I want, and it's rare. But unfortunately, there have been several individuals who have tried to enter my life but weren't qualified to walk with me in my life. And so, therefore, I had to politely uh, disengage in communication because I know after the first conversation, we ain't, you know, <laughs> we not going nowhere. You know, I've had several men that be to be in love with me. And, you know, Lady D got a little special sauce that's undeniable. So I can understand why. <laughs> Why? And there are still folk out there that are still feeling some type of way about your girl, poor babies. But what I want is rare. What I need is rare. And in order to do what God has called me to do in the earth realm, what I need is rare. What I want is rare. And only rare can walk with me. And so I say that to say this. Just like the young lady with the guy that gave her the chocolate diamond. And I'm like, girl. At least talk to the man, see what he's talking about. Ain't nobody just going to buy you no chocolate diamond just to be buying you no chocolate diamond. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm just saying. And you know it's real? You know, I mean, you need to think about that. He might be a little thick, but, you know, hey, thick is in, baby. That's more cuddly, cuddly, cuddly. Lord have mercy. You know what I'm saying? That's more love. And you worried about because made chunky. Chunk, chunk, chunky, whatever. Go walk with him. Y'all work on that. But he got to love you some type of way. Ain't nobody just going to just to drop no chocolate diamond on you just because, you know. <sighs> Talk to him. See what he's talking about. Go out, you know, in a public place if you have to. You know what I'm saying? Just hear him out and see where it goes. It ain't got to be nothing written in stone. You already let him know you didn't want him. You know, you don't know what might happen from that conversation. You just do not, you know, feeling some type of way because he, he thick, a thick brother. What's wrong with thick brothers? Thick brothers coming back in. It's cold out here. They cuddly. You know? See, I done had the tall, dark, and handsome, the 666. That was 666. <laughs> he really wasn't 666. He just got caught up with the wrong people, and he didn't know how to uh, fight in the spirit. So I couldn't fool with him because... I, I can't teach you spiritual warfare. You got to know it because you got to be able to cover me because I'm out here in these streets. What? <sighs> On assignment. And the, <laughs> I need some protection. And you you can't cover me spiritually. If you can cover me financially and you can't cover me spiritually, you can't cover me at all. That's the most important. Money going to come. But can you get a prayer through, darling? I'm just saying. So, Anyway, I was just elated to um, have come in contact with that lovely couple. And, um, yeah, they have a rare communication and they're best friends. So, you know, that's my endeavor. And everybody that I'm connected to and around now are, you know, having families and married and in healthy relationships. You know, sometimes we got, everybody got to deal with something. But, you know, yeah, that. It's time for the order to get back in the house. And in order for the order to get back in the house, sometimes, ladies, you're going to have to, you know, unfortunately, but fortunately, sometimes we going to have to relax and look at this thing and look around and love the one who loves you. And you never know. The Lord may have already put something in you to already to love them back. This is to my friend with the chocolate diamond dude. The Lord has already put what's in you to love them back. It's just no connection has been made. Y'all haven't had a conversation. 
a real conversation. Y'all been working. I gotta go. I love you. One love.